Alright, so what is going on YouTube? It is Bad Boy here with you today. And today I'm going to be coming at you with another ride and real combo review. <clears throat> and this right here is my Lowe's Hank Parker uh, spinning ride and real combo. Um, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so as always, we're going to go over the color first. Um, I really like this color with the black and the white. Um, really nice. Um, it goes, you see right here, it's white from about, I don't know, about a foot, probably. Almost about a foot. And then it gets straight black. White to black. I like that design right there. And then it brings back, like this right part right here, uh, black. And then go back to the white, black, white, black. So that's really nice. And the real is both colors, as you can see. Um, really nice. And, um... So yeah, next thing we're going to be talking about is the reel. So this reel right here has three ball bearings. Um, gear ratio on it is 5 to 1 to 1. And it's got zero reverse system, <clears throat> which is nice. And um, spool on this reel, as you can see when we get close, is very, you know, you can tell it ain't cheap. I mean, it's a cheap riding reel. I'm about to get into how cheap it was. But the spool is nothing other than, you know, just... You can tell it's well built for the price range, just to say that. Very nice, as you can see. So the drag on this reel is not sticky at all. Um, it's very, very loose, and you can actually just pretty much get it wherever you want. As you can see here, see it's pretty solid. And then go down with it. Here, I just like that noise of that drag right there. I don't like them ones that are like, I like that, that one. Very nice. It's very, very nice. And you gotta be careful with your hook set because you won't get a good hook set. Um, and by the way, this is a six foot medium heavy rod. Um, it actually, it's six foot as you can see, and it's hard to really if your drag's not set perfect where it needs to be. Because trust me, I found it out yesterday. I mean, it's pretty much common sense. But um, I had my drag set just a little bit too loose, and it comes with six like six to eight pound test line. And I popped it off on a one pound, probably, he was about, probably about a pound was on a trick one. And, you know, my drag was loose, barely had it tight, and he popped the line, so. But you gotta watch out for your drag, as always. And, um, so next, we're gonna get into the casting test. Alright, so the casting test. As you can see right here, I got the same background and everything as my Abby Garcia Black Max video. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead, and uh, that's what I'm casting around. Half uh, ounce little weight, and by the way, this is 12 pound mono. If you didn't know that, all right. So now we're gonna go ahead and just cast his Joker across the yard. So, how I usually do it as I'll stand, I hold it, and usually I hold it like this. You know, you gotta hold the line with your index finger like this, and then I hold my right, I'm right handed, so I hold my right hand right here. Gotta put my index finger on this handle part and you just went pretty far out there and this lot this pole is real it's kind of like a ultralight slash not ultralight reel it's a, um i think it's a two yeah it's a 2000 so that's pretty light that's like borderline like a 1000 is an ultralight 1500s like ultralight still and it's 2000 like just getting into like to where it's like you know, bigger, but, you know, not really rated for the heavier line. I mean, it's only 12 pound test, but, I mean, I'd go ahead and just put like some 12 pound to 15 pound test braid if I was you. So, just kind of. And you can bomb it out there too. It ain't no little sissy reel where it only goes like five yards in front of you. And I would recommend putting 12 pound mono in here if you're floor carbon if you're going to put some line on here besides braid. But I would definitely go with something pretty small like that on this 2000 reel. Yesterday we went out fishing and I got a few clips of me catching those fish. And um, so I'll go ahead and just, you'll watch them right now. So the hook set is really good on this bass. And caught him really nice. Caught him on my Abby Garcia Black Max. So caught him right out there. I didn't even try and feel it, see if I can feel him. I just see my line get really tight and I set to it. And I caught him. So come bring it back when I catch another one. Alright, so I just caught this 10-pounder 
um, out of that grass right there on the same trick worm. And um, yeah, just threw that one back. It's about time to spend about a minute. And I just caught this 10 pounder. So throw him back and go catch us another one. All right, so as you've seen right there, caught just caught two bass. I was frog fishing with that Abby Garcia Black Max. And um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> but I was just wanting, I was, it was really late in the evening and I was just wanting to try it. You know, it's pretty hard on that 6'6", six, six, medium heavy plus 12 pound mono, plus that on top of that, a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I tried, broke off on a few on this one, hooked up with some really big ones on this one, they fight really good, and the rod tip sensitivity is just amazing, you know, backbone is, eh, but, I mean, kind of see, I mean, it's, got, it's there, I mean, but, you know, wouldn't recommend going out fighting 10 pounders on this thing, but, so as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and be expecting some fishing videos pretty soon by me and probably Luke. I don't know what he's doing. He's up in China or something. But um, as always, hope you enjoyed. Like I said that twice. Um, see you guys later. Peace out.